Thank you for holding this hearing today, uh, members of the committee, and uh, thank you, Councilman Squilla, for introducing the bill. This is really important to me. As a nurse home visitor, I've been doing home visiting in Philadelphia for 11 plus years. I have watched bed bugs increase. I've watched the number of families suffering the consequences of bed bugs increase. Uh, a lot of people have listed off the public health, the very real um, health effects of bed bugs today, but I feel like there were several things left off of those lists, so I'm going to amend my list just to include the ones that hadn't been discussed yet. Um, loss of wages. When somebody discovers bed bugs, they have to take a lot of time off of work to remediate it. They often have to be home for exterminators. They have to possibly exterminate their car, uh, as I have had to twice. Um, <laughs> I've had to also take time off of work to check my entire home, have other people come in and check my home due to concerns of exposure related to my job. Lost productivity due to the health consequences such as depression, anxiety, loss of sleep, etc. But lost productivity is, has a real measurable outcome. I think Mr. Dom, uh, Councilman Dom has spoken to that in the past regarding other issues that I've heard you speak about, but lost productivity is very real. <laughs> uh, lost days of school, that can either be from the school being shut down due to bed bug exposure, or that can be due to children being sent home from school because a bed bug was identified on them. That leads to stigmatization of that child and further emotional health consequences that go long beyond the exposure of that school. Um, permanent scarring. A lot of times people don't talk about the visible physical uh, relationship that bed bugs have to when you see somebody with scars from bites, you're concerned that, that, may, that they may have come from that. And those people face a lot more social isolation and rejection from their peers, from their family members, from their friends, from employers, et cetera. Uh, risk for developmental delay was not something that was brought up. I have families who refuse to put their children on the floor. I have families that are afraid to have their children sleep on safe sleep surfaces because those safe sleep surfaces may harbor bed bugs. I don't think I have to tell anyone in here the dangers of co-sleeping on an air mattress with a child because you've been told the air mattress is the safest place to sleep to prevent bed bug bites, but your child's cot or crib that's safe may not be the safest place in your home, but that increases the risk for SIDS and suffocation. Um, impaired maternal child bonding. I have seen the impact of bed bugs on pregnant women giving birth to children. The depression and anxiety is impacted and Im impacts that relationship they're developing with their newly born child. Um, housing instability, increased substance use, fear of child protective services, child protective services involvement, exhaustion, inability to think clearly, which can lead to driving issues, a, a host of other public health issues. Um, lowered self-esteem and job loss. That's a pretty long list of things that weren't included in the very long list of things that were already included. <laughs> um, and I've seen all of them. I recognize that the Philadelphia Public Health Department has not yet listed bed bugs as a concern, but part of this discussion and part of City Council's duty here is to increase that conversation with the Health Department because this is a public health issue. It's serious, it has severe consequences. Um, those consequences uh, tend to impact low-income families, minorities, and rental, um, people in rental units more than other people. Um, I'm there's you to wrap up because the clock yes. is already. Uh, mm -hmm. Low-income homeowners also need assistance with this issue. This issue has happened, we've had bed bugs in City Hall, SEPTA, the Free Library, movie theaters, The Gap, other malls. It's everywhere. It's an issue that can't be teased apart and simplified, but as a public health nurse, I assume the risk of exposure through accepting a paycheck for my job. As a landlord in the city of Philadelphia, you assume the risk of exposure through accepting that rental check from your tenant. I urge you to think of it that way. Thank you. Have a good day.